Hello everyone, this is Aimee, your e-commerce growth expert, and I'm here to guide you in setting up a size chart using our app Kiwi Size Chart and Recommender. Kiwi Size Chart is an ultimate game changer for ensuring your customers will find that perfect fit and that they walk away happy with their purchases. How you may ask, it's all about giving them precise measurements and sizing information, leaving no room for doubt when they hit that buy button. But here's the best part. Accurate sizing isn't just about happy customers. It also reduces customer inquiries, slashes returns, builds loyalty, and drives business growth. It's a win-win situation all around. So let's jump right in and give the customers the satisfaction they deserve. Before we set up our app, let's install first by going to the Shopify's app store and searching for Kiwi Size Chart and Recommender. Once you find this, there should be an add up button that you can click and it will install the Kiwi size chart in your store. Once installed, it automatically opens the app, but you can also visit it through the Shopify admin by going to the apps and clicking on the Kiwi size chart app. Once you're on this page, click on the add new size chart button at the top right of the screen. If you have a product from any of these common designs and wanna use a pre-made template, you can choose freely from these options. Otherwise, you can start with an empty size chart. Now, if you have an existing size chart, you can go to the import size table to use your size chart from a Shopify product, CSV, an image, or a web page. Take note that importing from an image or a web page costs one credit, but you'll be given five credits for free when you install our app so you can try these features right away. In this example, I will be creating a size chart for a shirt using this pre-made template of a top. And now that I've chosen this template, this is where you can edit your size chart further. On the left side here, you can find the layout where you can add or remove blocks to design your size chart. And on the right side in this drawer here, you'll find the settings where you can customize your size table. Now let's start by naming this size chart. This name will not be visible to your customers and can be used only to identify this specific size chart. Feel free to select a name that will make it easy for you to identify this particular size chart. Now the size chart layout, you will have the option to edit, move, clone, or delete each block. And if you click on edit, a drawer will, will appear where you can customize each block. You may also move your block up and down like this to change their order and showcase the most important ones to your customers first. Now, if you click on the clone option, this will add this very same block at the bottom of this layout. Then if you want to add another one, you may click the add layout block at the bottom of the page and it will show you all the types of blocks that you can add. By doing so, you can elevate the presentation of your size chart, ensuring it reflects your unique style and preferences. And now that you know how to set up and customize the layout, let's move on to customizing the size table. To open the settings for this, you just have to go to the table layout and click on edit table. On the size table drawer, you can choose to set up your size chart using the advanced mode which you are currently seeing right now, or the simple mode. Although the features are similar, the advanced mode allows you to include a size range and measurements that will be automatically applied to the table below. Wherein in simple mode, as you can see, you have to set them up directly from the table. In this example, we will use the advanced mode. Here, you can set up the size range like the sample sizes, and if you add another size like this one, you'll see it apply on the table down here. Now measurements is where you can set up which parts are being measured. As you see, the Kiwi size chart provides options for measuring the length of the shirt, as well as the bust, shoulder, and sleeve. This aspect is crucial in guaranteeing that your customers can select the ideal fit for their bodies. Within the unit settings, you have the ability to specify the unit of measurement you prefer for the table. The app will then handle the automatic conversion between metric and imperial units
ensuring seamless transition between the two systems. You can also change the table direction from right here. And if you want to add more columns or rows, you have the options right under the table. It's also where you'll find the settings and table styles that allow you to customize its appearance, ensuring it matches your store's theme or allows for creative expression. Utilizing these features can certainly enhance the appeal of your size table, making it more enjoyable and engaging for your customers. Once you save the changes for the settings, you can finally add a header and footer text to your size table to describe or add more details to it. After you're done customizing the size table, in this section, you can decide which products the size chart will be applied to. You have two options here. Selecting products matching any of the conditions will add a product if it meets at least one condition, while choosing products matching all of the conditions will only add the product if it satisfies all of the conditions. After choosing your matching condition, you can proceed to add your conditions right here. Kiwi Size Chart allows you to choose from any product or collection and utilize product types, vendors, and tags to further filter the products. In addition to that, you can also choose to apply this size chart to all the products. Once you're done, you hit and save, and you should be able to see your size chart applied to your products. Finally, here's what it looks like from the online store. 